What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 100 update. This week they've added the brand new Xenon backpack, and that's this backpack right here. A workshop backpack that you can now drop down with. They also released some news about Hypatia 2, and we give you a sneak preview of that in this update video. They also stated that exotics will be spawning in open world and they will respawn with Hypatia 2 next week. And we also get the Olympus operations, future content, and so much more. Let's get into it, shall we? Week 100 has arrived and we get the Xenon backpack. The Xenon backpack does boost skinning and harvesting for intrepid hunters and offers the ability to get vestiges without a trophy knife. We're going to a little bit more in detail. They also have some news about Hypatia Part 2, which will be operations and exotic spawns in Olympus open world games. Some notable improvements this week are the Shamois and Tusker vestiges now drop as intended and the Wooly Zebra trophy now looks like a Wooly Zebra. And also the decoration bench received a visual upgrade to reflect that it'll be used for decorations other than just the basic rustic set. They fixed an issue where respawns could be limited while doing operations in open world, and that was only supposed to be active during missions, and removed the biolab option that we've seen in the orbital workshop menu, as it wasn't supposed to be there yet. They also added a UI on drills and extractors to display ore per minute and fixed a fish spawn in the pillars region of Prometheus as it was set to zero, making it impossible to catch. This week we also get the Xenon backpack. This backpack allows 100% chance to harvest vestiges from animals without needing a taxidermy knife. Alongside it, it gives a 33% boost to skinning speed, 6 inventory slots, and 50% wear rate for knives when skinning, and a 50% chance to find additional rare meat while skinning. Of course, you can buy this backpack from the Orbital Workshop and drop it down with the OEI whenever you want in your open worlds or missions. So as stated this week, they added the backpack and the backpack you can go in in OEI or on the station side and you can bring up the backpack and it is a Xenon backpack, a handy backpack to cover all your hunting needs. And it gives you 33% skinning speed, six inventory slots and 100% chance to obtain a vestige when skinning. It does reduce the wear rate of your knives by 50% and 50% chance to find additional rare meat when you're skinning. It costs a whopping 250 ren and 250 exotics to research, then a 100 ren and 100 exotics to craft. And once you have it on, all you have to do is skin something and you get a 100% chance to get a vestige so you can get a trophy for that animal. So we just used a titanium knife and we were able to get quite a bit of meat and we got some special meat from it too as well. So you get extra meat and you always get a vestige no matter what you do. And of course skinning is like really, really fast. Watch. Not too bad. While we're looking at the stats, you're going to ask yourself, is it worth it for the amount of money it requires? I, I don't think so, personally, but that could very well be based on the person who's playing. I don't usually have a problem with meat or skinning speed. Uh, I usually wear like a 12 slot inventory suit backpack. That's usually my backpack. The reduced wear rate of knives is really nice. So if you're doing like a lot of skinning or maybe you're doing a horde mode, it might be really, really fast to skin everything with the Xenon backpack. And also the 50% chance for rare meat is really nice because you can get a lot of meat. So if you're going out and doing a lot of farming, maybe put the backpack on, then put on another backpack after you're done. I, I, I can see it's, it's quite situational in my opinion, but what do you think? As mentioned in the notable improvements, they changed the way the decoration bench is. Decoration bench here being on the left-hand side. It's got like a saw on it and stuff like that. And a hammer. And some glue and, and some other things there. Some rolls of wire and wrapping it looks like. Stuff like that. So that's the decoration bench on the left. And of course, this is the trophy bench right here. On the right. So that's changed. And they've also added the option on extractors and ores that it shows you how many per minute. So it looks like we're getting about 1.5 per minute, almost two ores per minute of copper ore with this extractor. And they also finally removed the biolab as it was not supposed to be in the game. 
And they also say that next week is Olympus Operations. And we're going to have Olympus Operations next week for Hypatia Part 2. They're also going to have Open World Exotic respawning as part of this update. And they've also added in a final phase of testing while they balance the numbers as far as the exotics go. So they do have a closed community testing. We will be streaming this this Friday and playing some Olympus Operations. We're also going to give you a real quick sneak peek at that closed community testing. And we're going to give you a preview of what operations will look like in Olympus. If you don't want to see that, spoilers, skip ahead. We have chapters down below. And we'll be showing everyone the new operations and stuff on Olympus and which ones you can and can't do. So next week when it comes out on your Olympus open world, and yeah, I'll let you see that we're, we're kind of on Olympus. Uh, right now we're on Olympus. We're going to check out as far as the operations and which ones you can and can't do whenever you bring up your contact device you'll see operations available and then you'll also see that you have to upgrade your contact device we'll do that now and once you have it fully upgraded you can go into the inventory of it and look at the operations and this is going to show you what all missions you can do in olympus so on olympus uh looks like there's quite a few of them that you can't do or that are x'd out and then there are some that you can now the ones that are just regular like these colors, you don't have to have anything special for them. But of course, just like with the other ones, if it's purple, that means you actually have to have the tier four upgrade. And then of course, if it's blue, you need to have the tier three upgrade. So as stated before, if you have the relay upgrade, it is the blue ones and the satellite upgrade is the purple ones as far as missions go. We'll just hover over these real quick, just kind of so you can see from the very beginning which ones can and can't be actually completed. So this is the ones that can and can't be completed. Deep vein extraction can't be repeated or completed on the open world. Can't do payday extraction. And of course you can't do the exploration. Looks like there's some that you can't actually do. Quite a few actually. But if you can do. And up here, there's, there's a lot of them you can. Look like the survey missions, that you can do that. So yeah, there's quite a few missions that you can't do, but some that you can. And then all you have to do is actually click on that mission to be able to start that operation. So if, for example, if we wanted to do Migrating Sands, We'll click on Migrating Sands, and it's going to drop us down a beacon down here. And we'd have to go all the way down here and do Migrating Sands. So you'll be able to complete some of the missions or operations in Open World on Olympus, but some of them you can't. It looks like a lot of them's X'd out. Some of them are exploration, some of them for other reasons. And once you're updated next week, remember this is not this week, we just have early access to this to show you guys a sneak peek. You can actually scan and do radar stuff on your open world. So this is our Olympus open world where we're in the Riverlands. And we're going to scan and see where it leads to some exotics. There should be exotics and they should respawn. And once your scan's complete, you should see... Oh look, we have some exotics available. Looks like two exotics that we can go and extract. And we just searched and found our very first exotics on open world. And they should respawn. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to drop down an OEI. And bring down our equipment. To do extracting with. And we're going to throw the extractor on it real quick. And we'll just hit E and start extracting this stuff. And you can see in the extractor as well, you'll see it gives us about three per minute on this one. So yeah, you're going to be able to find with a radar and extract exotics in Olympus of the world. 
in just in case you wanted to see I did get a few scans I did scan about three times and found it it does seem like there's possibly three on this map from this scan it does look like that look maybe about three of them and before we move on to the future content section this week they say they still need money and icarus is actually 25 percent off for the outpost bundle and 10 percent off for the complete set we've got the change in the new content section this week we have the xenon backpack that was added they also said they updated the hunter's backpack skeletal mesh with correct skinning and increased the size and position slightly so they did make some changes to the hunting backpack and unlocking the hunter's backpack in the workshop though even on the most current access i don't even have a hunter's backpack in the workshop um, there's an archer's backpack, there's a gatherer's backpack, and then there's the xenon backpack, unless they're calling the xenon backpack the hunter's backpack. We'll go over the fixed section this week very briefly. There's a very small fixed section, and they fixed the bug where exotics per minute was always 25. Now it calculates display's correct number per minute. And people finally have heads when they rejoin. They also stated that they replaced the boss map icons. And now that you're playing Operations, you should have respawns, and also you should see the Biolab option now off of the screen on the hat. Shamwalls now drop vestiges, and Tusker vestiges will now actually drop. And the Pygmy Lop vestige is now renamed properly. It used to be a carcass, now it's a vestige. Skimming over the future content section this week, looks like they're working a lot on the meteors. And we may have a sandworm crossbow. And they're still adding the bat with the arctic bat. We will have spider nests and textures. We've got some additional additions here. A sandworm tendon, ice mammoth, frozen wool, and shield black wolf. So a black wolf shield. Looks like maybe some mammoth armor. And it looks like a mammoth shield as well. They are to ensure the meteor spawn deposits with the world rotation of the parent spawners rather than using the position. I'm going to guess that meteors maybe respawn exotics in open world, possibly. And it looks like the exotic respawns will be limited to open world only, not missions. And that's it for this change log. There's not really much this week, to be honest. And thank you to our late night crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Novocaine, Aaron, Hong Po, Steady Bob, Jim K72, which is new, and Kristen, which is new. Thank you so much for joining the late night crew, and thank you all for being late night crew members. We appreciate your support. Also, have you seen our new Build 2.0 video? We had several submissions on our Build 2.0 video and tons of beautiful bases. If you'd like to check it out, we'll put a link in that in the description down below and also up above right now. So check that out. It was released today. And that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, which will give you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one and content videos whenever those come out. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.